Hello YouTube, my name is Robert and this is a quick video about my Hewlett Packard Generation 7 Blade 460C server that I've converted for home use. Standard blade chassis which are supposed to be housed in the blade enclosure for cooling purposes. Uh, normally the blade server uh, slides in and the, the housing has the fans on the back so it sucks the air through the front. Because I'm using this as a standalone unit, I put a wooden back plate on. Plenty of duct tape because if you can't fix anything with duct tape then you're not using enough of it. Uh, so the, the air is not coming in from the rear of the machine and then I've mounted it up to a fan onto the top so the, the fan itself is drawing the air through to cool the two hard drives, two processors, all the memory and then it comes out the top. Uh, as you can see I've got the console cable attached so I have two USB 2's, I have a serial connection and I have a VGA should I want to run this machine with a monitor. Uh, that detaches so I can run it headless. Uh, I've actually converted this by cutting a hole in the side of the chassis. There's an internal USB approximately here uh, and I've routed that to a housing so that you can actually access that USB from the side. Plugged into it, I have a USB Ethernet adapter. Uh, this one is one of the cheap ones that I've procured off of eBay. Um, but this is a fairly good one that's approximately 110 megabytes per second. Uh, I don't obviously have to run that with the hub, I can just plug that straight inside. Uh, so that's how I get a network connection because these devices, they have many inbuilt network connections that are only accessible if you're using the HP enclosure. The power supply for this uh, is a Hewlett Packard HSTNS TL18 750 watt power supply. Uh, it's had a modification on the rear. So when the IEC connector to the power connector is connected, this power supply will fire straight up. Uh, and then I've soldered on a cable connection to plug into the rear to power it. I have two spare hard drives here with HP caddies, and I have two hard drives here without the caddies. Uh, these are all SAS drives. Uh, the biggest difference between an SAS drive and a SATA drive is the SATA has an L-shaped connection whereas the SAS drives just have straight connections on them. The interesting thing about the server SAS hard drives is that you can't run them in a des desktop machine and yet a server can take a SATA drive but the desktop can't take an SAS drive. So that's how they work out. I'll show you some photographs of how I've converted this machine into what you see here and I will cut to some footage of it running. Okay, so we've just powered up the server. I have an orange light on the front of the unit. Now you can speed it up by pushing the button of the orange light, which then turns it green. Now this takes roughly five minutes to boot. And the monitor is now receiving power. 
the BIOS is starting. This is the power and thermal calibration. Shortly we will have the BIOS beep as it begins to boot. I've set it to automatically log in as the server profile and modified it with a Windows 98 themed desktop. I shall relocate the camera so you have a better view of the screen. I've installed speed fan so you can uh, monitor the temperatures and if you notice there is no audio output inside the blade server but you can get around that with something like this which is a USB sound card. That concludes my video on the 7th generation Blade 460C network server. If you found this video interesting or the video has helped you, please give my video a like and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.